Everybody ready? Uh, All right. All right. One, two, three. 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 Yeah. Hey. I think as one of the speakers said, he obviously was a bridge builder that had a lot of credibility in North Columbus and South Columbus, and the Columbus had obviously been fairly stagnant for decades, and he was able to bridge those communities, I think, and, and have Columbus be one, and when everybody came together, I think the results speak for themselves that so much was accomplished. So, well, my thoughts are basically that this is a fabulous day for our two cities, Columbus and Phoenix City. This is a wonderful tribute to Frank Martin, who was a, an incredible mayor of Columbus. But more than that, you know, this bridge links Columbus and Phoenix City. And, and, and we're gonna, I really think that when it's all said and done, this will be a very significant addition to downtown Columbus and downtown Phoenix City. We were in this decision of naming it for uh, the late Frank Martin. Well, we considered a lot of different options, but this one just seemed to be the best fit for Butch. And we think that this is probably the best thing he would he would like and appreciate. And that's really what led to the decision. So, somewhat recent, but uh, Sam Welburn had mentioned it, and uh, he, he was able to get it done through city council, and the family's just very grateful to Sam for getting this done. Under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Let me just say that Teresa Tomlinson, I think, is the finest mayor in America. What she has done for Columbus with her many, many leadership skills is incredible. Georgia's history, it is a remarkable transition to a whole nother plane, a whole nother plateau, and we're just fortunate to be here on this journey. I got to give credit to Neil Clark, the architect. He's the one that designed it, uh, but didn't it turn out great? The fact that our citizens of both communities are going to have a chance to see this thing. And I'd like to tell you that we planned for Whitewater to come underneath it when we envisioned it 10 or 12 years ago. But I can't take credit for that. But that's a great thing that has happened, that we have Whitewater coming right underneath it, which will be the best spectator spot in the river. So everything just came together. All everything came together just perfectly.